Hey guys, this is Downing from SymbianHackers.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use JAF to flash your custom firmwares and the new ROM files that are available since Symbian went open source. In this tutorial, we're going to be using JAF, so you're going to have that installed and ready to use already. You're going to also need the Nokia PC suite or a part of that so that you have the Nokia cable drivers installed and you can pick up your phone. What you want to do first is use NaviFirm to download all your firmware files and you also want to download <coughs> your custom ROM files and these can be found at SymbianHackers.com in many of the blog posts. In this folder here I have my firmware and this is also including my custom ROS2 firmware um, which has been modified to my specification. <coughs> So first thing you're going to want to do if you're on Windows 7 is go into the properties of the JAF, head over to Compatibility, run it in Windows XP Service Pack 3 and run the program as an administrator. If you're in Windows XP you're going to uh, just want to run this program as normal as it will have all permissions and if you're in Windows Vista you're going to want to download version 3 instead of version 5 of this uh, program. So we're just going to go ahead and open that up and press go. Now you're going to be produced with this message saying that the box driver is not installed but this is nothing to worry about and you can just press OK and continue. Next you're going to want to go to the BB5 tab and you're going to want to make sure that your driver version is at least this number. Next you're going to want to select manual flash, dead USB, factory settings, uncheck CRT308 and check the use any file. that's going to load up all your settings and now for the Nokia 5800 which is what this tutorial is specifically created for you're going to want to create select RM-356 Nokia 5800D-1 and press OK now you're going to see that the MCU PPM CNT and AP variant file and flash files have automatically been loaded. What you're going to do is if they haven't been look at loaded from the location that you have your firmware files in, mine are here on the desktop, you're going to want to uncheck all these boxes. Okay now I have my MCU PPM CNT and AP variant file and flash files empty. I'm going to select the MCU flash file and I'm going to locate that on my desktop. It's in the firmware folder. And the MCU flash file is the one that ends in COX. So you're going to want to start typing R and you're going to want to choose the one which ends in dot C or X minus C00 being X representing another number so you want to open that onto your <coughs> MCU flash file your PPM file will end in V or X extra again representing a number mine being 1 here when you download the different ROM files this will be the file that you download the rest will need to be able to turn from NaviFirm. You're going to want to select the one that is um, in the directory that you choose to save your files in and that ends in VOX. X again representing a number. For the CNT flash file, this will end in, this is your ROS3 flash file. And you're going to want to find it by typing in the file name and choosing out your ROS3 file
for the APA, APE variant you're going to want to choose the one that ends in uda.fspx now all your files should be set for flashing make sure that you have your options set as I do and you're just going to want to press flash now I already have my phone flashed and set up so I don't really want to flash it again but you're going to want to turn your phone completely off before you press flash as you are in dead USB mode which works better even if your phone is not dead I would recommend using the dead USB mode then connect the USB cable from your computer to your phone and then once you have that connected press flash and it will prompt you the instructions to flash the firmware and all you'll have to do is press your power button when it asks you to do this just press the power button once and then let go that will boot your phone into local mode and the rest of the flashing process will take about 40 seconds once this is done your phone will be flashed with the firmware and you can continue to install ROM Patcher Lite and uh, you can download that also from the blog but that will need to be signed with a certificate from OPDA thanks for watching the video uh, please visit the blog at symbianhackers.com to learn how you can get your custom firmware files and what you can do with them